Okay, so today we're going to, going to talk about opacity. These articles and tables are based on the NEC 2011. And the first thing I want to discuss about opacity is that when conductors carry current, they develop heat, and that heat could break down the insulation of the conductor. Um, the conductors could get so hot that they become soft and they melt and they could even burn. So it's the insulation that protects the conductor and that insulation could be composed of cloth, rubber, plastic or thermoplastic sheathing and uh, it protects the uh, copper from exposure. Uh, there's a definition for opacity and that is it is the maximum current in amps or amperes that a conductor can carry under conditions of use without exceeding its temperature rating. Now the temperature rating is based on the insulation of the conductor. It, all the conductors, depending on its insulation, have different temperature ratings. Um, from 60 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius depend on depending on how the insulation is uh, made and formed around the the copper conductor. Now there's another concept called temperature limitations and what that concept is is it uh, basically describes the fact that every component in an electrical system has a weak link and that weak link is based on whatever component has the the least the the the, the smallest um, uh, or the weakest link that uh, it has the small it has the lowest temperature rating. Um, so uh, if the electrical system is composed of a, a panel and a circuit breaker and uh, the length of the circuit using a conductor and a device, if that device has a 60 degree Celsius uh, temperature rating, then that's the weakest link in the system and you cannot impose or draw current that would be above the 60 degree Celsius rating or you'll you'll um, you'll burn out the the uh, the conductor and uh, and the device. Now opacities are derived from this table. It's table 31015B16 and uh, it's very uh, important to read tables when you see them in the code book. This table is based on two very important principles or two very important properties and that is that there's only three current carrying conductors in the raceway when these opacities were, were measured and they were and this is at 30 degrees Celsius. So that's two important factors to note about this table. Notice that it is divided into copper and aluminum. The aluminum sizes are here, the copper sizes are here, and each column, each type of insulation has a temperature rating. 90 degrees, 75 degrees, and 60 degrees. And this discusses the, uh, the temperature, the, the information about the table want to reiterate that there's not more than three current carrying conductors in the raceway and the temperature was at 86 degrees Fahrenheit. To determine the opacity you would take uh, the intersection of the column and the row. So in these examples I'm only going to do one example. Um, in the example of copper number 12 TW you go to the copper you go to number its size number 12 if you can see that there and the opacity of a copper number 12 which has a TW insulation is 20 amps. So if the conditions are outside of these properties of temperature and quantity you have to derate the conductor uh, based on certain factors and those factors are found at this table and this table and I'll do a couple of examples. 
uh, in this first example, it says determine the allowable impacity of four number 12 TW conductors in a raceway. So from 310, 15, 16, we get the impacity of 20 amps. Because there are four current carrying conductors in a raceway, we must derate that conductor by 80% derate that impacity by 80%. And that adjustment factor is found at table 31015B3A at this table. So based on the quantity of conductors, you have to derate them a certain percentage. The impacity now uh, for each of the conductors in this conduit uh, can now draw only 16 amps and not 20 amps and this was due to the additional conductor in the raceway. The next example is the same thing except that we're using a temperature correction factor. Um, determine the allowable impacity of three number 10 TW THW conductors um, and uh, aluminum conductors in this raceway. So again we get this ampacity from this table and this factor we get from uh, this table, which is 31015B2A. And we find 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is here. This is Fahrenheit and Celsius, 105 degrees. And we're looking for the 75 degree uh, column because it's THW. So this is the 75 degree column. And the intersection is 0.82. We simply multiply that 0.82, that factor, to 30 amps, and now our conductors can only carry 24.6 amps. And this is, of course, due to the increase in temperature of the raceway. The last example is using correction factors to adjust for temperature, both temperature and quantity. So we have a conductor size number 14, THHN copper conductors at 31 degrees Celsius. We come at 31 degrees Celsius and we find that um, we use the 90 degree column because it's THHN. Here's the 90 degree column right here. That intersection of uh, the degrees is at 31 degrees Celsius which is here. We come over and we find it at not, uh, 0.96. And then because there are uh, seven conductors in the raceway, we go to this table and we find seven conductors, number of conductors, and we see that it's a 70% adjustment factor. So we just simply multiply 25, which is our starting opacity of a number 14, THHN, and we multiply that by 0.7, and we multiply that amount by 0.96, and we get an ending uh, derated impacity of 16.8 amps. That's the allowable impacity for those seven conductors in the raceway. You notice that we went from 25 amps to 16 amps due to the amount of conductors in the raceway and the temperature of the uh, ambient environment. Uh, so that's a short discussion on impacity derating and of course you could uh, review this at your again and at your own pace.